Since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, many states have taken swift action to either protect or limit abortion rights. The latest vote coming out of Kansas on Tuesday night where voters chose to protect the rights to abortion. Chris Wynn breaks down the sweeping changes by states across the country. By an overwhelming margin, voters in Kansas rejected a ballot measure that would have allowed lawmakers to ban abortion in the state. From the moment that lawmakers put this on the primary ballot, we knew it was going to be an uphill fight, but we did not despair. We put in the work. And these numbers speak for themselves. In the aftermath of the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe versus Wade, Republican-controlled state legislatures across the country have taken swift action to limit or outlaw the procedure. Actually believes in the Bible, knows that, you know, this is something that goes against everything. However, abortion rights are broadly popular across party lines. The most recent CNN poll found that 63% of Americans disapproved of the Supreme Court's decision. I just think health care is a fundamental right, uh, not just for me, but for any person in this country. Tuesday's turnout in Kansas provides an indication that the desire to defend abortion rights could be a persuasive issue for Democrats in the upcoming midterm elections. The voters of Kansas sent a powerful signal that this fall, the American people will vote to preserve and protect the right and refuse to let them be ripped away by politicians. And my administration has their back. Later this week, lawmakers in Indiana will take up a measure that would nearly ban abortion. In Georgia, a fetus with a detectable heartbeat can now count as a dependent on tax returns. Chris Wynn, KITV4 Island News.